Okay, we're back. Sorry I had to split the video there. Anyway, you didn't miss anything, just a really exciting black screen. Anyway, uh, when the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. I know this. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I love how the characters in the game actually tell you, like, what buttons you're supposed to push and, like, what to do with the analog sticks. Like, they actually know what those things are. It's kind of like breaking the fourth wall in a way. I've already plotted a route to our first target. You put an X on a screen. I mean, how exactly is that plotting a route? I thought there was more work in it than that. What the heck is he eating? It looked like frosted mini wheats or something. Oh, one. One. You fat slut. Alright, go ahead. Go chow down on those dog treats or whatever they are. I've already plotted a route to our first target. I'm aware of this. Sometimes in the first game, the characters can be slightly annoying. Just, just slightly. Just slightly. Anyway, moving on. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. Sir? Raleigh the Frog? As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. Sir, there's soup on my fly. Way, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy, found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the And a whole bunch of sugar machine. by the looks of his teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't take that character seriously since I first saw it, that goggles on. The island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a perilous Welsh triangle. And with very inviting skull-like clouds in the sky. Tide. Of terror. It sounds like an old 50s B movie. Ed Wood presents Tide of Terror. Okay. Keep out. Screw you. Alright. little bit of exposition. Okay, our first set of clues here. Okay, collect these things. Ball shot. Oh, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, so basically, if you collect all the uh, clues in an area, weird bird sound. Anyway, if you collect all the birds in the area, then you can open a safe, which will pretty much give you a special move you can do. Like, uh, well, I, I don't want to spoil it yet. Let's find all the clues, and then I'll show you for myself what kind of stuff you get. I think I might need to turn the volume down just slightly. Hang on. Here we go. I'll, I'll watch this video afterwards to see if that's good. As I watched the last one, I thought it might be just a tad bit too loud. But anyway. Before I go up here, I'm going to go over here. Do, 
Yeah, that might be a tad too quiet. I can't even hear anything here. There we go. And what a great sound test. Just as I turn the volume up, a boat horn pops up. Nice. See how helpful the game is? No, I don't see the bright lights bearing down on me. Idiot. Okay, so now we've got checkpoints. Oh crap. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, shut that thing up. Holy crap, it's Jamie Heineman. He's throwing ninja stars at us. It's another Ninja Mythbusters episode. dealt with Jamie Heinemann there, we can move on. But you guys gotta admit, it did look like Jamie According Heinemann. to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. Gee, what, what tipped you off? The completely metallic appearance, the smokestack on top? raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want a bad weather at his own hideout 24 Maybe he's emo. It's on. I'm gonna shove my cane up his butt. Make him beg for more. I'm so used to Sly 2 and Sly 3's controls that I keep pressing Y thinking that an attack's gonna come out. clues here. 20 clues and I've only got five more to go, so I should find all of them. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Never would have guessed. <laughs> yeah, pretty much most of the stuff that you can do with Sly, all you gotta do is just jump and hit the circle button. And believe me, they'll tell you this for every single thing. I mean, why couldn't they just say, alright, in order to do this, just pretty much do the same thing you usually do. I mean, do I really have to tell you? Aw oh, man, my eyes were closed. Can we take another one? up there. Another Jamie Heineman. Get out of my way. There's the vault I was talking about. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. Uh-huh. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Which is exactly what we're going to do right now, actually, Bentley. That worked out rather well. Every time you open a vault, you get one of these special powers that you can use. Like this. This actually comes in pretty useful later on. Anyway, now that that's over with, let's go get this key. 